That represents the um, the future. Yes. Yes, because we're in 2020 now, which is basically the future for us because we're old. Yeah, it is very much so the future. Hi, I'm Matt. I'm Chris. And this is a Monkey Monday. It is. We're Rusty Monkey. Um, so today, Chris, what are we talking about? Well, basically, this episode is entitled Mystic Matt. Mystic Matt. Okay, right. Because it, we're going to chat about the future. Okay, so I'm going to tap into my psychic yeah. powers then. What do you think is going to happen to branding and marketing and all that kind of stuff in 2020? Well, particularly with online stuff. Let's talk online. Mm-hmm. Um, what, I mean, we've been looking at some of the trends and what we think is on the horizon or definitely over the next, towards the next decade, definitely a few things are probably going to change. So one of the big things is the way browsers are working nowadays. And we've seen this. Browsers are getting, they're helping customers basically, they're helping protect your um, your identity, your preferences and everything. So we've seen uh, browsers like Firefox and those updates, they're coming out and they're starting to block some scripts for you. They're trying to help. They're trying to stop um, websites gathering too much information or too much data about you without your consent, without your opting in. So it's a bit like some of you might use that private browsing window. I think that's going to become a bit more of the norm, a little bit like how HTTPS mm-hmm. secure websites is, has become the norm. Um, so in doing so, what sort of things are going to, they're going to start protecting you, the potential browsing a computer yes. there, you're on the okay. internet. What are they going to, I'm, I'm your browser, I'm Click. Firefox. How am I going to, how am I going to protect you? Well, I might start stopping some scripts. In fact, I already am stopping certain scripts, but maybe I might start stopping other things without your consent. Perhaps the Facebook pixel that gathers data, the Amazon stuff. So, you know, when you go on, you go on Amazon and you look at some pillows and then every website you go to that has that remarketing, you'll advertise them same pillows, even if you bought them. So <laughs> um, what we believe is going to happen is that the future is probably going to be much more opt-in for marketing. So it's going to be, you know, it's going to protect you. The browsers are going to protect you. Laws like GDPR are going to protect the consumer so that you can't get so easily trapped and spammed yes. stuff, even if you looked at it. So would you say that's a, a good thing in general? I think it's good for the consumer. I think it's possibly challenging for some people who rely solely on that marketing model. So if, you're, um, if your existing online marketing looks very much like, um, hey, let's, let's advertise over here, let's bring you to the website, then let's kind of track you, monitor you, measure you, resell to you without your permission. Um, that's probably going to become more challenging, we believe anyway. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. So but the answer really is, um, is to start encouraging that opt-in. I, th- I think uh, the power of building your audience and newsletters, that's going to remain really important. And the power of providing really good content that connects with your audience is really important as well. If you're creating stuff that your audience cares about, then they won't mind you I won't mind opting in to, to get that information. And I watched a, a video online from Gary Vanacek, who swears quite a lot, but he said that uh, in 10 years' time, you will just be asking Alexa to get you a lawyer or a florist, and that is going to just be an answer of one. So you need to work on your brand to be the top of the pile uh, straight away. Yeah. Or, or it's going to become very, very expensive. Yeah, all of the voice technology um, is, is going to, I mean, uh, the guitarist in our band, his son has an Alexa and he's just constantly getting it to play whatever song is going to drive our guitarist mad for a while. <laughs> um, he's like three or four. So, um, you know, in 10 years time and he's a teenager and in 15 years time, how are they going to be, how are they going to be connecting with you and how do you get them to you know, uh, be interested in you as a company and buy your goods and services. Uh, yeah, it's sort of interesting because 10 years ago, 10, 15 years ago, Google didn't exist. I know everyone was quite happily buying adverts in newspapers and what have you and TV. And then it, everything changed. So everything could change in the next 10 years again. Yeah, so some of these advertising models that we're using at the moment, they're going to become more and more difficult. And they already are if you look at Google's paid advertising platform it's already a race to the bottom it's uh, something we've talked about before 
Um, there are still opportunities there with, with some very long tail and answer bank and question stuff. Again, if you're not sure these phrases, go back and look at some old vlogs. We talk about this stuff a lot. Um, uh, so there are still opportunities there with paid, but I think as the uh, as all of that voice technology moves on and the browsers protect you more and more, the answer is probably going to be um, investing in brand, understanding your audience, and really producing good content that they're going to connect with. And to be that, you want to be that name that people recognise. So when people are thinking of a lawyer, they think of you first, and they ask for Chris Gore Lawyer <laughs> Services as opposed to um, you know Siri, find me a lawyer. My phone is down there. <laughs> it didn't go off. It's fine. Okay, good. Siri didn't hear me. <laughs> <laughs> well, very good. Well, that's uh, a look into the future. We may do another Mystic Map. Yes, and we'll see if we've been correct in 10 years' time. Yes, we'll come back greyer and fatter <laughs> and see how correct we were. <laughs> All right. We'd better go. See you later. See ya.